And if you've always wanted to create IVs really quick and get the best quality out of them, then you should consider checking out the brand new release of Bagapai IV Generator. This is a super procedural generator that allows you to quickly and easily generate IVs on any surface. With tons of options to work with, this IV generator ships with 300 assets and 70 presets of different species that you can play with, offering you unlimited number of IVs that you can work with depending on the variation you're going for. This also gives you interesting options like animations, and also some beautiful proxy options and for those who like to get this currently alongside the Foxa blender market the bagger iv generator is going for 25% off and of course if you like to grab this you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can pick it up and start creating and with that said let's dive directly into blender and take a look at how this actually works right here all you need to do to get things going is to go over to edit go over to preference and install the bagger iv generator within the add-on section and once you have this click on the check button to turn this on click on the drop down and click on the asset browser now within the asset browser click on install bagger iv's asset as asset library and once you have this installed you can click on the bugger menu and save your preference Close this, drag out the new panel, and you can switch over to the asset browser where you would locate the bagger IV generator asset. Now the assets are in four categories, which deals with flowers, fruit, leaves, and also presets. And how you work with this is extremely simple. As you can press N on the keyboard, and you'd notice that we have the bagger IV right here. Within the bagger IV generator end panel, you'd notice that we have three generation modes, which includes fast, accurate, and precision. And within the asset source, we have the viewport 3D and the asset browser, which simply means that you can either select from the viewport to populate your IVs or you can use the asset browser to populate your IVs and to work with these IVs is extremely simple make sure you have an IV preset selected else the add new IV button would not work in this case we're going to have this selected select the object that we want and we can click on add new IV and once you click on add new IV this would automatically add the IV to the model this ships you automatically into an edit mode where you can start drawing whatever you want and if you like to edit the parameters you have a set of parameters that you can work with so you can go over to the IV growth where you can play with the parameter the leaves also have some very interesting parameters which includes leaf density so just in case you like to increase that there's a flower and fruit section which you can use to play with the flowers and fruit probability just to increase or reduce them you also got some trunk properties which you can use to increase the trunk radius and you can also increase the branch radius so depending on what you want you have some options you can scale this however you choose you've also got some very interesting effectors that you can use you've also got the animation so for animation if you simply bounce this all the way back and press the playback button you would notice that we've got some animation happening right here this animation has parameters which includes the continue the loop stability speed and also a few more others that exist right here and for the generation type you've got the snapping which is really cool you can play with the distance if you want and you've also got some nice things now away from this let's see how you can do some more stuff so we can jump out of the edit mode and we can actually delete this selected iv and do some more stuff in this case i'm just going to go through and have the selected right click and delete the entire hierarchy let's also hide this and review what we've got here so we've got this beautiful ebex model which i'm going to put links in the description where you can get it and just in case you would like to paint your own ivs yourself without getting the preset to do part of the job for you you can so in this case i'm going to select one of these so for example that and i can simply go over to the end panel and click on add new ivy we can start adding the ivy however we choose let's actually see what this looks like rendered i think that might make more sense so we can go over to the render section and from here we can start doing some stuff let's drag this all the way up and start drawing so once we start drawing this would start populating our entire ebex with some beautiful ivies we can draw as much as we want if you like to use the surface you can do that which is by default and you can switch over to cursor if you would also want something like that so we can draw with the cursor selected and you can see some interesting results. And we're going to jump all the way out and take a look at some very interesting options that this comes with. Let's go back to our viewport shading. And in this case, I'm creating a simple torus. I'm gonna to position the torus where I would like it to be. So the reason why we're using this torus, for example, is to show a few things. So if you have the IV selected, if you would like this IV to have a target point, you can. So I'm selecting the torus, selecting the IVs, and we can add this torus as a target point. So once we do that, you would see the IVs starts reaching 
for the torus. If we have the IV selected, we can increase the IV propagation and we can also play with both the trunk length and also the branch length. In this case, this begins to reach very close and the closer the torus gets to the IVs, the more the IVs begins to climb onto the torus. You can, of course, have this still selected and you can go in and even draw more stuff on this. So with this IV selected, we can actually go back, go to where we have the draw and we can draw some stuff right on the torus because, you know, we already have the torus connected in a sense. So with that done, you can now go over to the IV growth and play with the settings until you get what you're looking for. And if you'd like to add fruits and flowers to the IVs that you've just made, you can go over to the fruits and flower section where you can find a ton of fruits and flowers. So for this case, let's go back to the fruit and we might want to throw in some fruits like uh, this one. So I'm going to drag this and drop this onto the viewport. And for this, I'm going to have this object selected, select the IV, go over to flowers and fruit and click on add flower. So once we have that selected and added, automatically you would notice that this is now applied to all of that. So if you like to add based on the viewport selection, because you notice that we have the selection right here, what we can do is also really simple. We can drag this out and make sure that we don't have this selected. So we're just gonna click out. And if you have this selected, you can select the IV, switch this to view 3D, and you can click on add flower. And what this would do is at the same time, it would populate what we have here right around. So we can go ahead and look for that and you start noticing that we have them around places like there, there, and also here. So with these options, you can add from both the viewport and also the asset library. And if you'd like to get this right now for 25% off, you can simply go over to Blender Market where you can get this as the folks at Blender Market are currently doing the 25% off and Bagger IV is also part of products that you can get for 25%. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. Until I see you guys in the next one, peace.